I did make every effort to include the latest scientific studies. Please note, though, that research is constantly changing, and one clinical trial cannot always cover diverse bodies and communities. Everybody has their own individual genome and physiology. If you wish to deep dive into the topic, you can check out my sources and references posted in the description box below. In this presentation, what is ashwagandha? At what age do men experience a decline in testosterone levels at the rate of 1% to 2% per annum? Does ashwagandha boost testosterone? What does science say? And what can you do if you already tried it all and followed many doctors and health gurus but nothing worked? Did you know that ashwagandha is used to treat snake bites and scorpion stings in India? A compound from ashwagandha inhibits cobra and viper venom in mouse and cell cells. Studies. Ashwagandha, scientific name Withania somnifera, is an adaptogenic plant in the nightshade family. It's commonly known as Indian winter cherry or Indian ginseng. Ashwagandha translates to smell of a horse, ashwa horse, and ganda smell, since the scent of its roots is similar to that of horse urine. In Ayurveda, the traditional system of medicine in India, ashwagandha is a rejuvenator and broad spectrum tonic for various health conditions. According to a study published in July. 2007, low serum testosterone levels in men are strongly associated with increased morbidity. It is estimated that males experience a decline in testosterone levels at a rate of 1% to 2% per annum after the age of 40 years. A controlled clinical trial published in the U.S. National Library of Medicine in August 2010 investigated the impact of ashwagandha on semen profile, oxidative biomarkers, and reproductive hormone levels of infertility. Men. A total of 150 men participated in this study. 75 of these men were healthy and fertile, while the other 75 were going through a screening program for infertility. The researchers found that a treatment with ashwagandha effectively reduced oxidative stress and improved testosterone, luteinizing hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, and prolactin in the infertile men. All major factors linked to sperm quality and male fertility. Moreover, in a clinical evaluation of ashwagandha in 46 men with low sperm count published in November 2018, ashwagandha increased sperm count by 167%, semen volume by 53%, and sperm motility by 57%. By the way, before I continue, if you're new here, welcome! I'm Jara from the Philippines. I love learning about new things here on my channel. I share some information that I've learned from reading scientific journals and research articles that you may find interesting and are helpful. My favorite topics are related to health, skincare, personal development, dogs, and cats. If you're also a lover of learning, don't have extra time to read long scientific journals, let me do the research for you. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so that you can save time. Moving on, in a clinical trial published in August 2013, the researchers investigated the efficacy of ashwagandha on seminal plasma of infertile men. Total of 180 infertile male patients were administered ashwagandha root powder at the rate of 5 grams per day for a 3-month period. The results show that ashwagandha not only reboots enzymatic activity of metabolic pathways and energy metabolism, but also invigorates the harmonic balance of seminal plasma metabolites and reproductive hormones in infertile men. The results suggest that ashwagandha may be used as an empirical therapy for clinical management and treatment of infertility. Additionally, in a study published in November 2015, the researchers examined the possible effects of ashwagandha root extra consumption on muscle mass and strength in healthy young men engaged in resistance training. In this 8-week randomized prospective double-blind placebo-controlled clinical study, 57 young male subjects 18 to 50 years old with little experience in resistance training were randomized into treatment 29 subjects and placebo 28 subjects groups. Subjects in the treatment group consumed 300 mg of ashwagandha root extract twice daily, while the control group consumed starch placebos. Following baseline measurements, both groups of subjects 
underwent resistance training for eight weeks, and measurements were repeated at the end of week eight. After eight weeks, the group that took the ashwagandha supplement had a significantly larger average increase in testosterone levels, muscle size in the chest and arms, and a greater reduction in body fat percentage over the course of the study. The ashwagandha group also showed a greater increase in strength when performing bench press and leg extensions. Finally, in a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled crossover study published in March 2019, the researchers examined the hormonal and vitality effects of ashwagandha in aging overweight males. Over the course of 16 weeks, the men involved in the study received ashwagandha extract or a non-therapeutic placebo. At the end of the study, the men who used the ashwagandha showed a 14.7% greater increase in testosterone than the men in the placebo group. The issue with this particular study is that it was funded by Arjuna Natural Limited, India's leading manufacturer and exporter of standardized botanical extracts for pharmaceutical and nutraceuticals. Although further clinical trials on larger populations are needed, the said studies certainly show a clear link between ashwagandha and higher testosterone levels in men. Even though ashwagandha is generally safe to use, it's still best to consult a doctor before taking any supplement. It's important to note that the long-term effects of ashwagandha are unknown. More research is needed about long-term use. Remember that people respond differently to diets and supplements because everyone has a unique DNA. What works for some people may not necessarily work for everyone. If you already tried it all and followed many doctors and health gurus, but nothing worked, you may find the answer by doing some digging into your genes. If you want to get to the root cause of some of your health issues, the first step is to find your problem genes. Taking personalized supplements based on your DNA may also help, and Self-Decode can help you with that. Self-Decode provides personalized health recommendations based on a combination of your DNA, labs, and environmental factors. To me, Self-Decode is the most accurate DNA health kit on the market because they are able to analyze millions of genetic variants at once instead of a few dozen hand-picked variants. They are the only company in the world that directly provides you with a holistic set of accurate health recommendations based on your genes so that you can take charge of your own health care with data-driven precision health decisions. To learn more, click on the link in the description box below. If you've learned something you didn't know before watching this presentation, please give this video a like. If science-based content on health and beauty is also your cup of tea, please consider subscribing. I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next presentation.